Okay, folks, this is going to be a little short, uh, hopefully helpful video to you for trying to figure out what all the buzz is about. And what I mean by that is, is on the on the TK Pro yesterday when I was taking it out for its ride and for the review, I told y'all I had a little buzz in the back fenders back here. And what that meant by that is it's metal hitting on metal okay i said i'll figure out what that was when i got back home all right i don't know if you could hear it but i could hear it and it, and it kind of but it it kind of buzzed in my brain so i said i'm gonna fix this uh i got back and i i, I thought that it would be and i'm gonna try to show y'all this best i can y'all forgive Forgive, I got every light I can on this thing to try to try to get it right. But if you're buying the TK Pro, and if you look under the fender, do this before you put the fenders on, okay? And you're going to save yourself quite a few steps. Under here, there are some little nuts and some little screws that hold the fender to this fender bracket right here, this black bracket. So what do is take a... What I want you to do, you got a Phillips screwdriver and an eight millimeter driver. And what I want you to do is loosen these nuts and screws. You don't have to take them all the way off. Just loosen them up. I'll tell you what, loosen them enough to where you can get that thing to flopping, okay? That's what you're gonna want. See right there? How that thing's flopping that's what you want all right i'm gonna set this down out of the way now what i want you to do is look where they have the bracket meeting the fender they've taken some precautions there and putting some little rubber or plastic washers in there that's all well and good but the problem is is nobody considered where this little metal is rolled over here in this fender right here and where that meets the black bracket right here so hear that right there there's nothing to keep that from from uh, rattling on you and buzzing on you i'm just trying to save y'all of you know having to take these fenders back off after you realize hey i don't want to hear that buzzing okay and i'm going to show you how to fix that where are my scissors at here's what you need to do to fix this go to walmart and pick you up or wherever you can find it I buy this industrial strength velcro I use a lot of this stuff so I buy the big box but I think you can buy just little strips of it that's all you need because you're just gonna be using some a few little small pieces and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the female part of this velcro I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut me a little strip like that and we'll set this little strip aside and then I'm gonna take this little piece right here and the reason I say use the industrial strength because it's got some stick on it that that won't won't give I guarantee you I used to use this when I built quadcopters and it's really it's really really good so what I'm gonna do with that right here if I can show y'all I'm gonna put this right in that little crack right there and it don't matter if it's hanging out a little bit where you can see it I just want to stop that buzz and this velcro will stop that buzz I doubt very seriously y'all gonna be able to see this but trust me I put the little belt I put the little piece of velcro under here and it's gonna protect the black fender bracket from hitting the blue metal fender so then you can take this you can take your wrenches and your little nut driver and let's tighten this thing back up and what you're gonna have is a trike that you can ride down the road without any buzzing in them metal fenders. And you might wonder, how, how did I figure this out? Well, I can tell you how I figured this out because I, I have a bike over in the next shed over here. I won't call the manufacturer anything, but had metal fenders on it. And those metal fenders did the same thing. I did the same thing to the metal fenders, took away the buzz. And even on these rough, rough roads over here at Cooter Ridge, you know, I don't have any problem with them. So 
that's what I did. There it is. Can y'all see that? See that little fuzzy thing right in there? That's all it is. Just a little, just a little fuzzy piece of uh, Velcro. It's industrial strength. It's going to last forever. It's not going to wear out and you have to replace it. I promise you that. Then you take this. I'm not going to show you how to put the fenders on because I did that on the uh, previous uh, review video. Remember to take you, take those four screws out of your, your rear basket and it makes it getting to these fenders so much easier. But soundproof your metal fenders. Just a little short video I wanted to show y'all about doing that. I'm fixing it. I've done these two. I've already done this fender over here. I've already done that fender. It's ready to go. So I wanted to do this one for you and I wanted to show y'all how to do that. That's it. We're going to do these other four here while y'all aren't looking. And we're going to put the fender back on. We'll get on down the road. This thing won't be buzzing. So that's what all the buzz is about. It's about, it's about the metal fender that hits this black fender bracket. That's where the buzz is coming from. Let's put the stop in us on it. Old Barney from Andy Griffith said, nip it. Nip it in the bud. That's what we did. We nipped it in the bud. Hope y'all have fun. Hope y'all enjoy that TK Pro. Let's get on down the road. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hey, hit that subscribe and that like and that bell notification if you don't mind. Maybe we might make y'all a few more videos.